Aw, man, with the Olympic loafer, I kind of want to watch it again, this time with Furry, though. Too bad I can't. Wait, what's that? I can? Hey guys, I'm Comedy Turtle, and you are watching a Furry Film Review. I review movies that feature an animal or an animal-like character in the main cast. If you got a movie that fits that description, let me know in the comments below with hashtag film review. After a brief synopsis of the movie, I shall give you my review. Today's movie is, in fact, the 1984 Animal Olympics, brought to you by Lisenberg Studios, aka the people who brought you the Tron franchise. So now that we got the basic information out of the way, let's get into it, or as they say in the movie, we get an opening sequence where we see the world of the Animal Olympics. From the frozen Arctic, to the burning deserts, to the very wet oceans, all the way to Animal Olympic Island itself. Where all the continents are holding a competition to find out who will get the gold medal that is. And just like in real life Olympics, this covers a wide range of sports. However, I'm only going to be focusing on three plus what they do on their downtime. The three that I'm going to be focusing on are the 14 day race, gymnastics, floor exercise, and fencing. Why? Because there's a lot going on in this movie and I just want to paraphrase it a bit. These are just the three events that stood out most to me. So let's get started with the 14 day race. It's actually the continual theme throughout the movie and the event that I keep coming back to because quite frankly it takes the longest to deal with anyway. As all the continents line up, with their top competitors to stand ahead and shoulders above the others. Rene Fromage of Europe and Kit Mumbo of Africa. These two are easily the top contenders and they quickly prove how good they are. The race begins, but because this is going to go on over 14 days, let's take a look at another event for a brief amount of time. The gymnastic floor exercises. Here the main characters are Bruce, a penguin from Asia, and Tothnuko of Eurasia, who is a mink or some type of other mustelid. Bruce does a kata from his martial arts no can do, while Tothnuko does a freestyle dance that makes ample use of her elongated body and does a stunt with her tail that Quite frankly, it reminds me of the Looney Tunes. Seriously, what's up with that tail? Meanwhile, on the 14 day race, round day five, Kit Mumbo uh, catches up with Renee, even though she was sitting at a comfortable fifth place. Now she and Renee is running neck to neck, trying to outdo each other and outlast for the 14 days. Well, quite frankly, nine left. All right, now for the third event I was telling you about, fencing. Here we are introduced to two contestants, a uh, flying squirrel and the Borscht Count. The villain of this little segment. You think I'm kidding about being the villain? I'm gonna check this statement out. <laughs> you stupid event. No one beats me. I mean seriously, how much of a generic bad guy do you have to be to use that line? But just as he was about to be awarded gold, a new contestant broke onto the scene to challenge him, the Contesta. After a brief good versus evil struggle, she comes out on top and takes the goal. Are you curious about what the contestants do on their downtime? Well, they can eat world class meals, go to the golf course, or go to the hottest dance club on the island, the disco Noah's Ark. If this was done in today's era, it'd probably be the rave. The 14 day race is coming to a close, and as Kit and Renee struggle to get inside each other's heads to win the race, they do more than that. They get into each other's hearts and fall in love with each other. They end up crossing the finish line at the exact same time hand in hand and just keep on running. Movie wraps up and now it's time for my review bit. I'm going to review this movie based on three categories. Story, characters, and art. Okay, story wise, this seems a bit of a mess, but that's to be expected because it's a collection of short stories essentially. Just like the real Olympics. They have to pick and choose which elements are going to be the main focus. In which case, it's the announcers shown in the movie and the 14 day race being the main event. Taking as a whole, I'm going to have to give this one a fish. Character wise, there's well over a dozen characters in this movie. 
And that's just the recurring cast, not including the bit characters who only pop up for one or two segments. But there's also a fact that there's an extremely limited amount of voice actors attached to this project. How limited, you ask? Well, there's a total of four. Yes, four. For over a dozen characters. But at the end of the day, each of the characters stand out incredibly from each other, with a few possible exceptions within the same bit. One of my favorite characters in this movie is Brenda Spooner, one of the announcers. She might look all cute and cuddly, but man does she have a ton on her. Check out some of her lines. And I'm not kidding, and when she has a ton, and a sharp one at that. <laughs> so character-wise, I would have to give this movie brilliant. Art. For being done in 1984, you would think this movie might be kind of janky. But in fact, it is fairly well done. The animation is smooth, colors well saturated, and actually makes you feel like they're part of the world, really. Granted, from an outside perspective, but overall, you get the feeling of that. So overall, I would have to give the art a uh, brilliant. Now, if I think this movie is brilliant or deserves to get slapped in the face by a fish, well, I'm going to have to say this movie is brilliant. If you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furry friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny! Thanks a lot for watching guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.